What up Fortnite fam, I'm Matt and Chapter 2 Season 7 has begun. The Chimera have invaded the Fortnite island and it's my job to let you know everything that's changed in under 5 minutes. But before that, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on so you don't miss any of ProGuide's awesome content this season. First of all, let's talk about the change that Epic were most willing to talk about in their Twitter patch notes. Shakedown has received a small rework. In this season, you'll now have the opportunity to cancel your shakedown. No longer will you be in the situation where you start a shakedown and then get shot for it. Next up, let's take a look at the map. Obviously, the biggest changes have once again happened to the center of the map. The Spire has been completely obliterated. There are some smaller changes throughout the rest of the map, including the return of IO surface hubs and multiple alien crash sites. Hanging above the map is the Chimeran Mothership. There's a chance that it can abduct you, putting you in a room with henchman chests for you to loot for 15 short seconds before throwing you right back down to the map. Okay, now let's cover the weapon changes. Makeshifts and primals are now extinct and in the vault alongside the infantry rifle, revolvers, dual pistols, the rare harpoon gun, the vendetta flopper, and the stinkfish. These items have been replaced by a new slew of high-tech alien armaments. The Chimera ray gun will emit a continuous deadly ray of energy, dealing tick damage to enemy players. The pulse rifle will fire fast and fully auto from the hip, but will be slower when you aim it down sights. There is also a mythic variant that can be obtained from Dr. Sloan. The recon scanner will launch a recon bolt that will do damage to enemies as well as marking nearby enemies and chests. The railgun is a sniper type of weapon that can be charged up to fire a single powerful shot and it's apparently great for dealing with enemies behind walls. It's basically the reincarnation of the heavy sniper. And finally, this one's going to be a little bit controversial, UFO saucers. Similar to planes, you can drive around in these saucers. They have two weapons, a laser beam, and also the ability to abduct enemy players. Alongside that, a bunch of other weapons and items have emerged from the vault once again. The bolt action sniper, the heavy AR, the pistol, the hand cannon, the suppressed SMG, and the launch pad can all be played with once again. Now that we've gone over all the weapon changes, let's take a look at everything else that's changed in the season. One of the biggest changes to the game is how the battle pass now works. Instead of working your way up through the ranks of the battle pass as normal, battle pass stars have returned. Using these stars, you'll now be able to purchase any item from a battle pass page as long as you're a high enough level for it. The way that gold works in this season has also changed a fair bit. You can now accept quests from characters as usual, but also pay phones to earn gold. These gold bars can then be spent at upgrade benches to upgrade your weapons or at vending and mending machines to pick up brand new items. It's cool to see the gold system go under constant revision in each season and the way it's being implemented this time seems pretty good. Next up, let's talk loot llamas because they've changed too. Five loot llamas will now spawn every game, but they won't be static like usual. Now they're alive and you have to hunt them down to obtain their loot bounty. When you shoot them, they can leak loot and even teleport around. Crafting is here to stay this season, but it may now be a little bit more useful. If you have an assault rifle, you can craft the orb with nuts and bolts, the lever action with a pump or tack, and the rapid fire SMG with any other kind of SMG. You better watch out because alien parasites have also invaded the Fortnite island. They will stick to you and deal damage over time, but in return, you'll be able to move faster and jump higher. To get the parasite to detach, you can burn yourself, jump in water, or even become a prop. According to Hypex, there will also be a gravity disruption throwable, which I'm pretty sure we briefly got to see being held by an alien in the Battle Pass trailer. These were what we think are the biggest changes that you need to know in Chapter 2 Season 7. This new season looks pretty fun and much more competitive, and Epic have already said that the map will change more and more weapons will be added to the loot pool as the season goes on. That's everything I've got for today, but I'll see you in another two weeks for the next update. Oh, <laughs>